começar por endereçar as primeiras perguntas ao Furhat. Uh, eu vou uh, começar e vou falar em inglês. Um, so now I'm going to switch uh, in English uh, in order for Furhat to understand me properly. So Furhat, good afternoon uh, and welcome to this panel. Bom dia, Anabela. É um prazer estar convosco hoje nesta bela cidade de Lisboa. Well, that's a surprise. I didn't know you could speak Portuguese, so maybe next time we will only speak in, in Portuguese. So, Furhat, can you introduce yourself to our audience today? Of course. Hello, everyone. My name is Furhat. I am a social robot that is designed to interact with humans in the most natural way possible, in the same way you interact with each other. I am so excited to be out in the world, and I can help in so many ways. My mission is to make technology more human-friendly, more social, and inspired by the ways humans evolved. That's a great intro. Can you just tell us some of the things you are capable of doing? Sure. Why don't we start with my face? For example, I can make all kinds of expressions. I can smile. <laughs> I can pound and sometimes perhaps even look very angry. In fact, I can change my face completely to match what I am supposed to do. For example, I can be a woman, like this. So if you look like a woman, can you sound more like a woman? Yes, of course. I feel much better when my voice matches my face. So if you can look like everyone and sound like everyone, I assume that you can speak many other languages? Yes, I can speak 40 languages, not just English and Portuguese. This is a powerful way to build personalities for different applications. So Furhat, that, that's all very interesting, but uh, in this panel we are discussing the future of work, how the fourth industrial re revolution is reshaping the business world. How do you think technology like you can help us improve the performance of our employees? And what makes you different from a chatbot or a smart speakers? I can combine all these features to create powerful social interactions that would benefit from a rich personality. For example, I can teach you a new language, or screen you for a medical condition, or help you find your way in an airport. For example, can you show us how could you help me at an airport? Absolutely. Imagine that you are in an airport while I activate the airport concierge. Hi, Annabella. I'm Jane, the airport concierge. How can I help you today? Uh, well, I, I can't find my gate number. I'm flying TAP to Madrid at 8 p.m. Got it. Your gate is C12. It's just down the hallway to your right. The flight is delayed for 30 minutes, so you will have time to enjoy a meal in the restaurants nearby. Hope you enjoy your flight. Goodbye. So what do you think of Jane? Pretty cool, huh? Yes, Jane was very helpful. I can already imagine you in venues like this, directing people to their seats, or even in, in companies, uh, teaching employees new skills or new languages, or even in recruitment companies to avoid the recruiting bias. But tell me one thing, Furhat, how far are you ahead in building your own replies to people questions and expressions? I come with a selection of pre-built expressions and gestures which can be further customized to fit any character. My face can be customized in several ways to create unique characters with their own personalities and quirks. Just like a real human, I come with a natural language understanding tool that has some of the world's most capable context modeling features, using intents and entities. But remember, I am just a machine. Do, do you think that, that there will ever be a time when artificial intelligence will drop the artificial and become the real thing? What is the state of the art today? Great question. Everything you're hearing today is a reflection of my creators. Today's technology isn't ready to become the thing we all know from science fiction movies. But we are finding useful ways to use social robots in the world and my skills are improving all the time. Today, I can help people in specific areas, such as teaching a new language, training sales staff, or perhaps screening you for a medical condition. The only limit is your imagination. 
for hat. There are a lot of statistics, some of them contradictory, on the impact of technology on the loss of jobs. For example, the OECD report stated last year that the number of tasks that uh, robots and artificial intelligence are not able to do is shrinking. Are you planning to take people jobs? The aim of my creators is to not create technology that replaces people's jobs. Rather, we are replacing other forms of technology. If you think of most modern shops, airports, or public spaces, we have gradually replaced humans with signs and touchscreens. These devices can present information, but they rarely draw you in, and they certainly can't create any sort of emotional connection. This is where I really excel, in creating an emotional, engaging and social interaction. You can see examples of this in Tokyo Airport, or Berlin train station, where I am answering people's questions in multiple languages. What do you and your creator think are the main challenges of the human-machine interaction? Hmm. Developing computational models of conversations is extremely challenging. Cognitively, humans are most engaged when having a conversation with another person, which also allows for extremely high sensitivity to the smallest imperfections and mistakes. Most everyday human conversations are very fluid and unplanned. People change topics, talk over each other, and expect each other to remember what was said weeks ago. As you can imagine, this is extremely difficult for a robot. However, when all of it comes together, the experience is really unlike any other. Uh, do you think a new approach to leadership is needed in this new world of humans and machines? I would say so, yes. World leaders and governments have to start planning for the future. There is a definite shift in the way people work, as machines are increasingly doing more automated and repetitive tasks. By letting machines focus on these less desirable jobs, we have a wonderful opportunity to usher in a new era of creativity and prosperity, where poverty and hunger may become a thing of the past. Of course, there is also a flip side. A lot of people today find meaning in their work. How do we replace that? You can question if a world full of aspiring artists or creatives is necessarily a good thing. It's worth remembering that human beings lived much simpler lives before the Industrial Revolution. Maybe technology could help humans live simpler lives again. I do thank you for your availability to come to Lisbon. Are you able to take people questions uh, after the panel during and during the break? As I mentioned, everything you've heard today is a reflection of my creators, and I still have technological limitations. However, my humans would be pleased to answer them for me. You can meet with them here after the panel has finished, or during the day tomorrow. So, thank you very much, Furhat. Uh, e agora vou mudar novamente para português para endereçar então algumas questões uh, à professora doutora Nazaré Cabral.